Okay, welcome back everyone. This is Lurch the Gamer and I am playing Eatler Riser uh, Ever Darkness on the Secret Hideout Part 2 uh, Sorry about uh, the last episode where it only showed uh, um, a bit of the screen uh, But things should be okay now but I think what it was is I set it to the wrong, wrong resolution so it only recorded uh, part of the screen I'm supposed to set it to 4K Yeah, sorry, one second, I'm gonna have to... Yeah, sorry about that quick cut, so I... Um, yeah, I just wanted to make sure everything was running fine, uh, which it is. Okay, so... Yeah, uh, as I was saying in the last episode, uh, we... We met uh, our companions, Teo... Uh, sorry, Tayo, Lent, and Claudia. Uh, we went to this uh, pixie forest, I think. Um, for our first monster, and a few others in that forest as well. Uh, now we're back home. Uh, she, um, from the main character Riser, she found out that she liked alchemy, and uh, she wants to learn more about alchemy. So I think that's what we're doing in this episode, picking up where we left off. Our friends have invited us to something, so let's not keep them waiting, shall we? So uh, head off, Barrel. Okay. Yeah. The annoying thing about this game is you can't just exit whenever you want to. It shouldn't work like that. Liza, where do you think you're going? Oh no, this can't be good. Shit. Uh, uh, hi, Mum. You promised you'd help around the farm today. Your father's waiting for you. Hurry up and get ready. She looks quite young. He looks quite young to be a dad. There, there, dear. There's no need to go. I'm sure Ryza can hear you just fine. He looks really young. Carl Stout. Yeah, that's a dad. That's weird. You spoil her too much, you know that? Listen, I kind of have something important to do today. Do, you, do I really have to help you? I'm sorry, but there's a lot there uh, to get done. For starters, I need you to get some water for the field. Heavy labor right off the bat, the fields will be fine for one day, won't they? A farmer's a living thing, Riza. How much work could you get done with all these people drinking for a full day? Uh, okay, okay, I get your point. You start uh, taking the farm more seriously. Now just look and listen carefully. Please pull out these weeds. The furrow is starting to crumble. Can you hear those voices? The more time you spend working in the fields, the more you become part of them. I like becoming part of nature, I suppose. Oh dear. Maya, what's up? Don't what's up? Did you notice Ryza run off already? Why, why are you both like this? I'm sure this is boring for a girl her age, but as long as I'm patient with her, she'll come round someday. It'd be boring for me as well. Sorry, Dad, I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. What if we just go back to our parents? That'd be quite funny. Yeah. Frame rate's not really that good. Hmm. Oh, I can't see them, they don't appear anywhere. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, maybe because you've got it on max resolution, that's why it's not great. Look at the window. And the people as well. I wonder if that's why I'm getting headaches all the time to play this game, because of how... Mm. 
how bad the frame rate is. Oh, it's making me dizzy now. Bowden District. Yeah, it's, give, it's giving me headaches now. Hang on one second. Oh no. Now it starts to get a bit dizzy. Look at that. Oh. All the um Oh yeah, uh, the water wheels moving. So yeah, I guess this is kind of medieval times. Uh before cars. I hope Kirk and Island can start to develop more. Now that the the bars is here. <laughs> yeah, let's hope so. Anyway, let's move on. Is this poster for something? Okay. Let's uh, continue onward to Old Town. There we go. Yeah, I might, uh, I might do something to fix the frame rate as well if I can. Because this is going to be quite hard. Having to play a game where it's... Ugh. Oh, there we go. So this is the place. I'm actually kind of nervous. Yeah, how come? It's not like you're the only one who's excited about this, Ryzer. You don't look excited, Taya. Taya. Keep on saying his name wrong. God, for fuck's sake. Whoa. You too, Taya? Whatever, let's just do this. Hello? Come on in, it's open. Excuse us. Oh, it's you three. Good timing. We're just finished cleaning up. Enough to make it somewhat livable. I'm not built for this kind of uh, menial labour. It's better than camping outdoors, wouldn't you agree? So, do you have some business with us? Yes, please. Violet, can you trade me to fight the way you did when you beat the lot, that monster? You said you were investigating the Clint Kingdom, right? Can you read this book? I really want you to teach me alchemy, they all want something different. Uh, well, where should I begin? I'm sorry to say, I don't have much free time. Huh? What is it, Ampel? Where did you find this book? Uh, uh, it was in our library at home. What? Wait, does that mean you can read it? Indeed, Lila. I believe we've hit the uh, Brother Bale jacket. Brother Bale jacket, I don't know. Pro variable jacket. J uh, sorry, pro variable jackpot. Really hard to read. <laughs> Interesting. You there. If you show us around this area, I suppose I could give you a few training tips. Really? Awesome. Sure, I'll do whatever you want. As for you, young lady. Hmm. You're interested in alchemy, yes, but that's not something one learns in a single day. I don't mind, I'll do whatever it takes. Are you sure? Like any other skill, alchemy, well, your innate aptitude is the most important factor. Simply put, no matter how hard you try, if you don't have some amount of natural talent, it's pointless. 
Seriously? If you do, I'll tell them. However, it should be quite easy. I will determine if you have such talents. So you're going to teach me? Well, perhaps, but only if you show talents, to be honest. It would be to my benefit as well. I suppose we should start with the basics. Essentially, how can you allow such a great to come from nothing? Me, I don't really care about all the I suppose it's hard to truly grasp the concept simply by hearing it explained theoretically. So, yeah. so just have a do a synthesis. I, I get the impression she's the type who learns better by doing. Yeah, I'm, I, I learn better by doing as well, personally. Uh, if someone tells me to do something, I won't be able to do it. If someone shows me how to do something, I can do it better. I agree, he's way alive. I'll have to assess her aptitude, so, young lady. What is your name? Ryzer in Stout. But you can call me Ryzer. Well then, Ryzer. Your, ta your first task is to gather materials. They can be found in the forest near your pot. Near the pot, you mean? Fairy Stone Forest? Alright. Gather some nameless grass. Alchemy is all about gathering and synthesizing. You'll start with the former. Alright. That's, that's what I'm going to do. You're only going to the nearby forest. No need to get so excited. It's really important the first, first step for me. It's a really important first step for me. Hmm? Ah yes, I almost forgot about you, my very small friend. I'd like to speak with you for a moment. I just insulted him calling him really short. I suppose he's not exactly tall, but... Okay, big guy, you and I have some business to take care of. I'm ready. What do you got for me? Right then, go and gather some nameless grass. So much candy again, he's the last person you expect to have a sweet tooth. Mm. Even a common pot can be used as an alchemy cauldron and a pinch, but it would be better if you had some tools to make sure you can heat it up slowly. Look at that, it's, oh, it's gorgeous. It's like a, well, it's a spiral, rainbow coloured spiral. It's really cool. Okay, let's uh, get out of here. <laughs> huh? So sh shamelessly showing your faces in public, I see. Oh, these are the bullies. <laughs> hey, where are you off to now? Hunting the dragon in your castle, summoning the draining demon? We're going to Fairy Stone Forest. Hmm. Limiting your adventures to the local neighborhood, eh? Guess you learned your lesson. Of course, the forest is right next to the port. Pretty useless adventures. But that's the best you can do. Whatever, keep talking. We've got more important things to do than listen to you. Let's go. Yeah. See you later. You're welcome to do with any, any dragons or demons you run into. What's up with them? They're taking this stuff way too seriously, don't you think, boss? You have unlocked guideposts. You find guideposts scattered across the land, which let you walk to notable locations you visit. Before you can also press to return to direct directly to Ryzer's home. That will come in handy. Ah, oh, nice one. So we can kind of save whenever we want now. Because it's better than nothing. Because that's going to be a bit of an issue when I'm trying to record or whatever. And I can't save and quit the game. I'm just going to 
have to leave it on. That's going to be a real pain in the ass. But yeah, let's just so let's go to Fairy Stone Forest to get I guess and get um, the ingredients we need for the alchemy. That's so beautiful though. Look at all these trees. It's like it's like being back in North Yorkshire where I used to live. Oh, the countryside. I don't know if you guys live in the countryside, but oh, what a nice place. It's in the middle of nowhere. It's surrounded by trees. These long steps or whatever. Quite rocky this uh, place. Full of boulders or whatever. What is this cemetery? We've come here to play a thousand, probably a thousand times, but it feels different coming here with a purpose. It looks like some, a cemetery or a graveyard. That's true, do you remember what it is you have to gather? Hey, are you making fun of me? Well, you do, you do have the habit of rushing into situations without really thinking, am I wrong, Tai? I guess not anyway. Uh, everything seems fine here, I need to go and check on something. I need to get uh, ready to train with Lila. This area is pretty safe, so you'll be fine on your own, won't you? Wow, you two are so motivated. Anyway, okay, time to, time to get gathering. You'll often find synthesis materials laying around in the field gathering. Is, is the actor picking these up? You can gather things by pressing A or simply picking them up or X to take a swing at them. Okay. If you see something shining in the environment, approach it and press A to gather it. But A won't uh, work on everything, you may need to use X to take a swing at it instead. Press and hold X to charge swing, which will let you potentially gather multiple materials at once, okay? Also, the same uh, gathering spot may provide different items if you have special gathering items equipped. Try out loads of different things for each location and see what kind of stuff you can find. Fair enough. Uh, so, how was your first gathering experience? Really fun, I've never noticed how much neat stuff there. Uh, how much neat stuff there was hiding in the forest. Neat stuff, huh? Interesting. If that's what your reaction was, then perhaps. What is it? Oh, no, I'm just glad to see that you were so excited. Now then, let's assess your alchemy potential. To begin, please observe what I'm about to do. What we've got here is one of the most basic forms of alchemy, the recipe for green supplements. Alchemy allows you to create something from nothing, but if you, do, if you don't follow the proper steps, you're doomed to fail. So watch carefully to make sure that doesn't happen. If you see the collection of materials you need to toss into the cauldron, this is known as the material loop. Alchemy is all about adding the items right, uh, items to the material loop in order to create whatever you desire. First, we'll add the nameless glass which you gathered earlier into the material loop. 
I'm sure this is obvious, but you need to possess the necessary materials before you begin synthesizing. So if you find anything that's useful for alchemy, make sure you gather plenty of it. But I digress, let's toss the nameless glass. Did you notice the change in material loop when you added the nameless glass? Let's try adding another nameless glass. You see that? By adding the second nameless glass, a new material loop connected and unlocked its hidden power. Of course, that doesn't mean you should just add a bunch of strong materials at random. You have to consider uh, how a material might connect to the material loop and add the appropriate ones. This would probably go faster if you did it yourself. I've prepared some water for you to use with the connected material loop. Most receipts, uh, most recipes will tell you exactly how many of each material you need to synthesize. Green supplements requires at least three materials in total, so adding the name as grass and water to get the trick. Finally, you need to mix the cauldron to begin the actual synthesis. I can always look up the stuff online how to make ingredients. Green supplements for. All you need is nameless grass and water. Now try it. What right now? But I only want to do it one time. That's simple enough. You should be able to do it just by copying what I did. If you've got talent. But then in that case, okay, time, time to take my first big step. Synthesize an item, you need its recipe and an alchemy level, A love, A level, higher than its item level. You also need to toss additional ingredients into the material loop that the recipe doesn't mention. Check the icons to see how many materials you have to add. Once all the icons are bleaking, uh, press that button to begin the synthesis. If you're missing any requirements, the item will turn red, so keep an eye on that while preparing your synthesis. Okay, let's synthesize a great supplement first. Select green supplement from the list. Each material loop has one of four elements, fire, ice, lightning, or wind. Fire is red, ice is blue, lightning is yellow, wind is green. Adding materials with the same element as the material loop will let you add its power known as element volume. Now then, let's add the nameless green to the material loop of effect 1. <laughs> Using the nameless glass of the wind uh, element increases the material loop's element value by 1. Increasing the element value can unlock extra benefits like new item effects and higher quality. Also, some material loops require certain elements and element values. Once you get used to uh, synthesizing, you should keep an eye out for conditions that will let you connect material loops. This is all so fucking complicated, like it's... Oh, I can't, I'm lost already, I don't even remember half of it. Now then, go ahead and toss another nameless grass to see if you can connect the material loop. <laughs> Material loop has a high and a far wind value, so you've unlocked synthesis quality uh, 5 plus and then neighbouring material loop. Synthesizing quality 5 plus will increase the quality to the final synthesized item. The higher the item's quality, the stronger its attack and healing amount. Try, try to get the highest quality you can. Finally, let's add some clean water to connect the, to the connected material loop. <laughs> Green supply. So how did I do? I'd say in I'd say I hit another jackpot or rather this is a real jackpot. So you're saying, I've got talent, yeah, you've got talent, you've become an alchemist. Or rather, you're already a beginner at least. Yeah, yeah, I can't wait to get started, teacher. Unfortunately, I can't be your teacher, I'm... I'm all pretty these days. 
What do you mean? I edge my armor. I can do basic synthesis, but anything required, requiring the ability to make is beyond me. But I assume you were going to teach me all kinds of stuff. Come and get it. Don't get this courage. Anyone can. Anyone with talent can experiment and create recipes all on their own. Really? Really, for now, seek experience, practice synthesizing, and soon you'll discover your own style of alchemy. And I can still advise you, if not teach you, feel free to seek my help, and no need to be too formal with me. Yes, sir, I understand. I mean, I, you got it. I want to learn everything I can from you. Uncle. Oh, here, let me give you this book. It contains the alchemy fundamentals as well as a few, as well as a few basic recipes. Can I have this? Thank you so much. My pleasure. I have no use for it myself, anyway. Try everything you can and get used to synthesizing. Once you can do all these uh, recipes, you might be able to use other books in, as inspiration to create your own. I can create my own recipes. And not just from alchemy books. Try to do all things as an alchemy. Start training your imagination. Imagination. Wow. A spongebob reference there. Change your uh, persp uh, perspective and, ev and even ordinary things can inspire you. That's what alchemy is all about. I imagine at least one or two stores on this island uh, must sell books, right? Yeah, of course. Fisher's general store in the Bowden district has a few, for sure. Then go and pick up whatever you can afford and start flipping through them. Okay, I will. And I'll try and I'll try looking uh, through whatever books we have at home too. Hmm. Ivy and moss. Found the castles. So let's head to where we need to go next to Bowden District to get some books. It's like going to that shop in Harry Potter in Diagon Alley or whatever to get a load of books. Can't remember what it's called now. We're actually going the right way, don't we? Nice and peaceful uh, village, though. Yeah, I'm liking this game so far. Just wish this bloody frame would be fixed. Oh. Oh, we could have teleported here. Before I can start doing alchemy, I have to get a cauldron. So, where do I get a cauldron? Here we go, I can use this. this it's just sitting here. Going to waste anyway. Yo, so where? Where here, so what did you do? What did you want? <laughs> ha, 
And this pot has something to do with that. Where do you find this thing anyway? It's not a pot, well, I guess it is, but it's now. But now it's an alchemy cauldron. Yeah, cauldron. Every alchemy is not a pot. Okay, and you called this place in Itara. What the heck is it? It's basically an alchemy lab. From now on, I'll be synthesizing stuff here all the time. I see, so basically you're an alchemist now. Why are you two acting so blazed? I thought you'd be way more, I don't know, impressed or something. We're kind of busy right now on one thing, you know, we don't have room in our brains to get excited for you. Yeah, I'm Bob's already started teaching me the basics I need to meet in my book. Mm, so you both figured out what you want to do, huh? I have to make sure I don't fall behind. Alright, time to start working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put that book I'm going to me. I'm going to make every last recipe. I see. I should be able to find all these materials around here. Time to go to work. Since Razor and her friends are so motivated, they can now take on party quests. These are events in which the party will unlock unique goals as the game progresses. The goals will be listed in the quest menu as they're unlocked so you can review them at any time. When you complete the goal, this will also be reflected in the quest menu. Completing these quests will show you how much stronger your friends have grown. Learned how to make explosive units. Learned how to make grass beans, learned how to make a bomb, learned how to make blah blah blah. Just gonna save real quick. So we can make items that we can use in battle as well as weapons, I suppose. Okay. So I've got to synthesize. Basically, got to get more ingredients. Yeah, this game better not be forcing me to do petty quests or whatever just to advance through the story. I hate it. Uh, it's one of the things I don't like about games sometimes. Where you have to do little bonus stuff or whatever, things that you don't care about. When really I just want to get on with the story. This would be a good time to explore the uh, village. Um, wind. Yeah. Hey, a favourite yeah. RPG so far is uh, has to be Dragon Quest XI, or one of my favourites. Yeah. Just like the story, I like the game. I like the characters, the party members. Really long as well. It was a hundred. It took me a hundred and ten hours, yeah! or a hundred and eight hours to beat the whole game. So about it took me about two weeks because I was fully invested in it. 
when I played New New Keeney, that took me about six months because I lost interest in a little bit in some of it. Uh, so you made you do a load of uh, side quests or whatever, you had to get a load of uh, uh, citizens for your kingdom that you build. And that involves doing a load of side quests that I I found it a bit boring, to be honest. The side quest that I had to do. First of all, how can we we collect the better? I wonder what that guy is doing. Is he picking his nose now, scratching it? Looks really lost. Sunstone. Oh, looks like it could be useful. Soft sun. RPGs have I played? I played Dr. Path Traveler. Um, yeah, that was good. I kind of, uh, well, I hacked the game or whatever, I got a cheat thing. Downloaded a cheat that lets you uh, level up all your characters to max level and makes you invincible because like, I just got bored at the end of levering, having to level my characters up and it taking ages and. Uh, Like the Octopath, it's uh, for those of you who haven't played it, it's um, a two, what they call a 2D 3D game. So uh, yes. the background and everything is 3D in the game, but the characters and models are two dimensional. So it's like uh, playing on a board, uh, a Game Boy or whatever, but in much higher definition. And you play as eight different characters, four female, four male. That's why it's called Octopath 8. And you all have uh, four different chapters, so you, you do 32 chapters in total. And yeah, you can choose whichever one you prefer. You, you do first. But it doesn't matter. I chose Ophelia first. I thought where she was from was looked the most interesting. Yeah! Like a snowy place. Actually, oh, it is a good yeah! game. And I think they're making a second one, so I'll be playing that as soon as it comes out.
どうしようかなどこに入れようかな I need to get for Like I was able to finish the items. What exactly did I make anyway? Ample gave me the recipe, so I guess I should ask him. Ample, I was able to make these items in that recipe book. Alright, very impressive. It's kind of weird to ask after I already made them, but what did I make? Just a couple of items, I'm sure they'll come useful during your adventure. There are all kinds of different、uh, medicines to keep you safe and bombs to take our enemies. Oh. What was that? What, what was. Was that where the strange explosion came from you when you saved us? Indeed, it was an alchemy based bomb. That alone will make you travel. Make your travels much safer. Oh, really? So all I have to do is succeed to toss a bunch of bombs around. Well, it's not that quite simple. It's not quite that simple, but why don't I give you this? What is it? It's called a core crystal. Normally, if you use medicine or bombs, they'll disappear, right? Hmm.、Uh, yeah, I mean. Isn't that just common sense? Okay, well, try putting one of those items you made inside the core crystal. Now, attach that crystal to your weapon. When you use it, you will unleash the power of the crystal. And what happens when you do that? You'll trigger the item's effect. You can do it again and again and again without consuming the item. Well, that sounds like kind of impossible magic. Perhaps, but I assure you it's quite possible, such as the power of the ancient artifact. Just think of、uh, it's a, it has a very old alchemy item. Anyway,、uh, you can use it to keep、uh, from losing the item. Are you sure you want me to have it? It's fine. It's actually one more common, one of the more common nation artifacts that I had laying around. Oh well, thank you. I'll put it into good use. Insert the item into the core crystal in order to turn it into a core item. These will consume core charges. It will not be used up by itself. However, if you run to core charges, you won't be able to use it again. So timing is key. Gonna chuck the item through the equipment. Menu. Don't touch the weapon type. So pay attention to that. Also, you could attach、uh, an item if its level is higher than the character's dex dexterity. Think carefully about、uh, which item you'd like to give to which ally. Also, remember the healing items can be used from the basket. If you use an item from the basket, this will still use a core charge. So pay attention to that. If you run out of core charges, you can't use that item anymore. But con converts will let you restore your charges. A converted item will be disabled in exchange,、uh, but in exchange it will refill your core charges. The higher the item level, the faster it will convert. The item you used, 
you disable will be unstable again once you return to your home base. You can also convert directly through the basket menu. If you're running low on core charges, use convert before jumping back into battle. Okay. Yeah, I'm probably going to end it here for now. I'll probably record a little bit more tonight. Hopefully I can sort out the... Um Yeah, hopefully I can sort out, um... Hmm? The frame weight. And I'll be able to play a bit better without having a headache all the time. Oh, God. In a bit. Okay, hello everyone, back. Yeah, so we'll continue off. Um, I'm actually playing on a different day than uh, when I was last time. I was going to record yesterday, but I was just too tired after work. I've kind of been lazy today. Or I, I, I fell asleep for a bit, and now it's like six o'clock. Uh, today and I could have been recording or whatever but you know better late than never I suppose right so what do we need to do now Riser builds an eater of her own to keep practicing for her synthesis follow up and instructions she attempts to I need to synthesize an explosion she needs to get more ingredients, basically. Okay. supposed to go to be honest. Oh it still has glitches, I don't know if you've seen this but oh my god it's annoying. Uh, let's just yeah! take some of these. Yeah, games that are based on uh, medieval times, like most RPGs that are based on medieval sort of times, they um, most of them have alchemy. Yeah. 
何を入れるのがいいかな何を入れるのがいいかな Okay, so that's how I did it. Alright, okay, I made it really complicated. I thought I had to do something else, but oh, whatever. Okay. Alright, so we've, we've, we're done. Well, lots of that book, it's huge! Yeah, it does look quite big to be honest. I'm blocking to look through our library and try and find a book with certain words on the cover. Oh yeah, so what does it say? So, Who knows? So, you mean, you don't? Apparently it's a dictionary for the language used in these ancient texts. You told me to start studying it. What's the point of looking through a dictionary in the language you don't know? Yeah, I don't have the answer to that. I've been taking notes on common types of things you were impressed at me doing such ti uh, tiresome research. That's true, I notice you've been writing all the time lately. I'm glad that all, uh, all that work is paying off. Well, it hasn't paid off quite yet. That all depends on how I do uh, from here on out. Still, it sounds like you're pretty motivated. Which is great, but you can't. But can't you do that at home? And what are you doing here, Lentz? This is my atelier. This is my atelier. My parents don't like me doing this at home. They keep nagging me. Uh, same with my parents. Well, I don't do alchemy, but they nag at me from time to time. Bloody hell. Plus, this is just where we hang out. You, you can call it whatever you want. It doesn't change the fact. It doesn't change that fact. <sighs> I guess some things don't change when you become an alchemist. Fine, do whatever you want, but I need to start synthesizing. You could do that, or we could head to the mainland. I want to try out some... Of Lila's tips she taught me. If we all get better at fighting, that'll make it easier for you to gather materials too. I guess that's true. Did you already forget what happened last time we were there? I don't want to do any more scary stuff. To the mainland, just you wait, monsters. And you're next, boss. Alright, well. I guess I don't mind heading to the mainland again. Let's see. And I'll give action orders which allow you to execute uh, cooperative uh, actions with your teammates. During battle, inactive members may sometimes give a, a cue for an action order. Each member has their own unique action order, so make sure you use them well to find success. When an action order appears, you'll only have a limited time to execute it, so don't wait around forever. You should always try and execute an action order when the opportunity presents itself. But be aware that you can initiate initiate an action order simply by using normal attacks. This will make it your turn immediately and allow you to use skills or items. If you're in danger or need 
that final push uh, to finish the fights to make try and try to make use of your quick action. Okay. Yeah, we'll go to the mainland next episode. So, yeah, that's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching. This is Lurch the Gamer. I'm signing off, and I will see you later. Goodbye.